four-part series on how to get your Bermuda lawn prepped and ready for the fall, all right? And once again, you're chilling with the Big Yard Dog, BYD. If you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Bowman, and you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central on YouTube, all right? And one thing is very important, guys. If you hadn't clicked the subscription button, go ahead, click that subscription button, hit that notification bell. Every time I upload a video to YouTube, you will be notified, all right? All right, so once again, look, we're here to talk about, forget talk about it. This is all about just putting down that fall fertilization for your Bermuda lawn, all right? It's a couple of tips I need to tell you before you go ahead and tempt this, so stay tuned. Hopefully this video is coming to you um, around Labor Day, uh, before or maybe after. And uh, you hear those, I don't think, cicada bugs or something like that. I don't know what they are, but I was watching uh, Blaine Dennison. And uh, he was telling me, telling us what those were. And those some kind of bugs. I actually looked them up. And um, I something about they dig in the ground, stay there for 13, 14 years. I don't know, but th that's, it, it, that's an annoying sound but guys we're here to talk about <clears throat> putting this fertilizer down for the fall prep and one thing i want you to know is it's i'm gonna try to throw a lot in real quick but with your bermuda lawn guys right now it's, it's we're going to september i think all right so when you're fertilizing your lawn some of you guys are still getting have some greenness uh, some of you guys are just scorched it's burnt up man it's gone so applying this fertilizer now is just it's a last little baby push right before the fall and what we don't want to do is hit this with a super high nitrogen right at mid september or hopefully you can see me mid september or in october all right now i did a final push video that was in august and that was to boost it up as hard as I could, that last final push. And this fertilizer I'm putting out now is purely organic. You know I've been using it all season. And this is just going to help my roots, a more natural process. We're not going to get any surge growth with this. We may get a taste of green, but I'm not looking for a lot of green, all right? I just want to kind of coast into fall with my grass green. It may not be super green, but it's going to look better than your neighbor's dust, crush thy neighbor. All right. So let's go ahead and, and, and do this install. But before we even do that, I want to talk about something. Okay, y'all fanatics. The, the one thing I want to talk about, guys, do you know the true meaning or of Labor Day? Okay. I did this when I did that Memorial Day video also. Um. The true meaning of Labor Day is basically a day of rest for laborers, all right? The people who work in the federal government will actually acquire the, the, the privilege of having that day off with pay, all right? Now, some of these labor unions have made it so that their um, labor people, the job that they represent, can also get this day off, but it represents, you know, a day off for laborers. Um, here's a fact. Oregon was actually the first state to make Labor Day a um, state holiday for the federal employees. Um, and I think this was in 18-something. I'm not sure about the date, but I think around by 1894, the, f the federal government itself made it a national holiday for federal employees. Other companies also offer this day off with pay. And it's just a day of rest, guys, a day of rest. And actually, the way it's celebrated, oh, another thing, Labor Day was actually for, it was actually started, the United States is the only state in Canada, I think, that celebrate Labor Day on the first Monday in September. The rest of the world basically celebrates it. And this may not be everywhere, but celebrates it in May 1st. All right, so May Day, okay? And you know, when we was in high elementary school, May Day was like a day of partying and stuff like that. Um, games, parades, all that good stuff. 
Um, I think in the United States, they didn't want it. President Hoover made sure that it was pushed over to September because he was scared of retaliation of unions growing power, all that good stuff. So it's a dead rest. But here in the United States, basically what people do, this is the last time that you got a real good time off to, you know, have fun with your family and your friends, picnics, all that good stuff. So as you can see, this is why we celebrate Labor Day here on the first Monday in September. Um, me personally, we celebrate the day before because the actual Monday, like today, we don't do nothing. Now I'm shooting this video and hopefully I can get it up before tonight is over with. Um, Cause we gotta make some errands and all this and that. We may go to the movies, gotta take my daughter back to school. All kinds of stuff is going on. But that's why we celebrate Labor Day in the United States of America. But I know some of you guys are like, BYD, nobody wants to hear all that. So please get to the purely organic and put it down now. Okay, all right, let's get to it.
Okay, you are fanatics. Look, I get asked this question a lot. Do you have to make a trim pass all the time? All right, when you read your fertilizer direction, it's pretty much going to tell you to do a trim pass. Matter of fact, let me show you. Okay, you are fanatics. Hopefully, you can see this. And if you look at the diagram, it'll show you trim pass, and then they go back and forth in the middle. Same way on the square or rectangular trim pass around the edges, then back and forth in the middle. Now that's in a regular pattern, but I will tell you this. The trim okay. pass, just to show you guys, that's you're gonna read your directions, and so that's how it's gonna be, all right? And I know how far to throw it, because once you master your spreader, guys, you, you'll understand this even more. I don't make that, that second horizontal pass or anything like that, because it's unnecessary. Okay, you now if you watch your let's not let's go your um true green Kim Long guy or whoever top turf who was ever doing your property, you notice they they're only making one pass. They're not making it, you know. They're not going this way with it. Then come back at horizontal or vertical with it, and that's for a reason. It saves time. You don't have to do that, guys. Now you can follow your directions on the bag, and you can. But once you become better acquainted with your fertilizer spreader you don't have to do that all right now i'm applying an organic fertilizer so i'm not concerned about the excess on the concrete because when i blow it back it's not going to burn i'm not going to get too much uh, nitrogen on the corner right there in other words i'm not going to have the ammonium sulfate or whatever the synthetic version burn my edges all right with this with this part I'm not doing a trim pass. I'm literally cutting it on right before I get to the sidewalk. I'm gonna walk a straight line all the way down. Sometimes I'll do this just to cut down on all the walking and lines in the yard because as you can see, it's starting to hold lines. That's another sign that the, the growth is still slowing up. So I'm gonna walk it straight all the way down to the corner of the house and once I get to the corner I'm gonna cut it off turn around I'm gonna come back out this particular product is a granular product it's purely organic it's real airy so it doesn't broadcast as far as a synthetic granular wood now I'm getting about seven feet from the middle from the whole broadcast seven feet so it's like three and a half feet on each side so i know when i turn around i know i got to do the three the three feet distance on the other side i overlap possibly about an inch or two and we'll come back up if that makes any sense to you guys reason i'm, I'm telling you this is because there are all kinds of techniques for us fertilizing your lawn and everybody has one guys everybody has one and I'm not going to say there's a wrong way to do it, but once you master your spreader, you won't have any issues at all.
couple important steps left. When you get through and you have that excess fertilizer on your sidewalk, it's very important that you get the blower and you blow all that fertilizer back over into the yard. All right. And one other thing, too, if you're using this purely organic fertilizer, it's very important, guys, that <clears throat> I've always stated this. And this is this is where a lot of you you yard fanatics, you go wrong. You don't you still don't read the instructions. I mean, now I know my videos are on point. <laughs> Thanks. And, and it's all to educate you, but you have to read the bag. I believe in when you read and, and believe it or not, I got to read this. I don't I don't just grab it and start doing it. I, I literally follow the directions on the bag in most cases, but you have to read the directions. Now, if you're using that purely organic fertilizer, it's going to stay. It needs to be moist for three days, guys. So after you fertilize your lawn, get out there and water. That's why it's best to do this or these applications in the afternoon, you know, seven o'clock when the heat, when the temperature goes down. So you can water or you can water at night. Got a video about night watering. Also click on that link if you're interested. But these, these are very important steps. If you leave it on the lawn and it dries out, it's not going to be as effective. Most, I'm not going to say most, but a lot of people put fertilizer down and they don't water it in. I've seen the true green guys put down fertilizers on certain yards and these people won't water their yard at all, but yet you got a complaint with the company saying that it's not greening your yard up or it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Hydration is the key, folks. I'm always saying it. Hydration is the key. That's a tad bit early, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting a head start on my watering and I'll probably be doing this um, most of the day. Well, I'm not gonna say most of the day. I'll come back later on tonight and finish up, but I wanted to go ahead and get a start on certain areas that's getting this heat the most, okay? And this is also the case for- treat those weeds. Now, it, it said it needs to be watered in 24 hours after application. Guys, that stuff will kill from the top, but if you don't water it in, you're not gonna get the roots and you'll get this stuff to start coming back. Now, in, in most cases, it's gonna kill it, but you have to spray it, let it stick to the leaf, 24 hours later, water it in, guys. Even if it's spot spraying, get a water hose and just hit that spot, water it in, you know, really good. Don't saturate it or drench it, but just get it watered in and it'll be most effective. Okay, you are for next. Look, that was part three. Uh, part four is coming up soon. And part four is gonna be about the pre-emergent application. Um, you could use a granular, you could use, um, uh, I'm gonna use a granule liquid, which is WDG, wettable, dissolvable granule. Prodown means 65, and that's how we're gonna treat our lawn. Now, I'm getting those questions, DYD, can I put a weed and feed down? Listen, guys, I may do a separate video on that. I'm not sure, but they have weed and feeds that literally just weed, kill the weeds, and feed the lawn, all right? Now, with your Bermuda lawn, here we are in September. In October, guys, if you're gonna make your final feed in in October, and, and understand this, that purely organic really says uh, warm season grasses should be fed in October. Now, everybody's doing the Labor Day thing, that's fine. Um, but the, the guys who have fescues, more than likely, they're doing a lot of scalping and they're prepping their yard for some overseeding. So their temperatures may have dropped. Now, you do not overseed your Bermuda lawn in the fall or the winter or even the beginning of spring. It's best to overseed your Bermuda lawn in mid May and June, and in some cases, June, July. You can, but you have to. I mean, when I say water, water is the key, guys. Water is the key, but don't be overseeding your um, Bermuda lawn. Now, I don't care what you see in these other videos. Warm season grasses are not to be overseeded in the fall or winter. It's just that simple, okay? All right, let me show you something real quick. Fanatics. Now, some of you guys are, you've seen this video right here. If not, I'll link up at the top, but, or it may be in the description. But guys, I'm bringing this, this I can't wait to use this. Now, I've been getting mixed reviews. Some people are like, oh, I love it. It's, it's the Jesus Christ of, 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 of backpack spirit. Then I get people saying, DYD is going to fall apart on you after you use it two or three times. So I'm going to really dig into that. 
but I got it, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. But listen, this is what we're gonna do. This is the final phase or stage is the Prodamine 65 WDG. I'm gonna use laser blue. That's a little surfactant right there. I don't need surfactant. I'm, 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 I'm telling you this, guys, because when you're spraying your Prodamine, you want it to go into the soil. Surfactant actually slows it up. Do not, and I repeat, do not add a surfactant to your Prodamine or your liquid application of your pre-emergent at all during the fall. Now, some of you guys may spike this with a weed kill. Even with that, I would not add a surfactant. If I did a video doing that, then it X that out. Do not add a surfactant to your Prodamine application for your fall. And when you're putting it down in the fall, you're basically getting ready for, to prevent winter weeds, which you won't really see until, um, the beginning of the next year, February, March, April is when you start seeing those wintering, winter weeds, especially that, that really, really nasty one. The annual bluegrass. We can't stand that. We're gonna try to prevent it, but there are ways to get rid of it once or if you get it in your lawn. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude this episode of Bermuda Grass Central with BYD, okay? And um, if you got any comments, any questions, put them down in the in the comment section and as you know byd i'll try to get to answer them as, as soon as i can but what's going on guys the channel is growing and i'm getting bombarded with questions that's why sometimes it may be two weeks before i answer somebody's question and that situation is already gone but i will start doing questions and answers so if you got any questions put them in the comment i'll collect all those questions and i'll do a q a video all right once again, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.